Now we take you over to the 11th par four. Paul Broadhurst currently two over playing his second in the right rough and uh, pretty receptive uh, hole location here today. No reason not to attack these flags. They had a lot of rain last week and then had oh great shot there by Brody and then had some overnight rain last night. So the course is playing soft at the six the second for Ernie Els. 171 yards a little breeze in and from the right swing a little bit better now than he has the last couple of weeks. Good looking shot here. Yeah the big thing here at the sixth hole is get it in the fairway and then you can get aggressive with your second wonderful play there by Ernie great iron shot. Cool stuff. Yeah, let me tell you something, John. You started on a better practice tee than most of us did. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I was pretty lucky. That was that, <laughs> the practice tee and the turf here is absolutely spectacular. The short rough here is no problem. Don't think there's any chance of a flyer here for Steve. Might as well go flag hunting. Yeah, not at all. And the greens are very receptive. Just a little left of the hole, right over top of the flag stick. That's Good shot. Perfect. Yeah, we we just saw almost the same putt. From Brody a few minutes ago. That's just outside the left edge. Pretty flat putt, not much as really, far as speed goes. Yeah, it just depends on the pace he hits this. He got it further out and it oh it did move. It moved. He got it about two out there, but the pace was so good it got it in the left side. Well, Phil Steven Alker must have gotten a pretty good feel for Ernie's putt and how slow it is. Yeah, particularly going up that hill being so slow. Good looking putt. Ooh, he makes a lot of long putts, and that was a beauty right there. I think he might owe Ernie Els an assist on that one. Over at 14, Tim O'Neill for his birdie. This would get him to within one. Long putt. He's probably just thinking getting the pace correct. Uh, he did. He got everything correct. Pace, bottom, birdie. Should fit his eye. He likes to hit a little draw, which for a Left hander moves left to right, so right over towards that hole location. And beautiful shot. Right on right on the money there. Great swing. At 15. This man's got some speed. He can get it out there. Right front hole location here for Tim. And that is a wonderful play. What a great shot that was. Hitting it to something finite. You know, they're just feeding it up there. Get the pace right and it can go in. Alker second at nine, Phil. Oh, what a good putt that was. That was that was rolling in the whole way. This is over at the third, the second for Gene Sowers. In the right rough, he's got to control the trajectory and he hit a beautiful cut around the trees. What a great shot that was by Gino. Yeah, this hole can play up into the you know 220, so 198 hole location that front right. This is a good looking shot if it's the right club. Well, it was, and what a great shot is correct. Beautiful shot in there by Stricker. Speaking of the players, KJ Choi, a winner of the players, has this for Birdie at 16. Good grouping here of past players winners. KJ Choi. Duffy needs this for par to shoot a four under 66 and pours it in. How about that Duffy Waldorf. Yeah, just, you just got to be careful. The last thing before you hit it you, you don't say don't go long and then you come up 25 feet short. Yeah, this is a typical Stricker. Uh, how's that. Yeah that's pretty good. That's that's kind of what we've come to expect from Steve. Golden opportunity here at 16. Oh yeah, Stricker he, pours that in. Yeah, he got it down. 